Uh, next up, um, if you ever run into the situation where you are at a restaurant and you are like, what is tagliatelle? Tell me exactly what is pho? What is it that I'm ordering? I don't know. Well, instead of looking ignorant, having to ask your waiter or waitress all the time, download Og menu and these can all be solved for you. Tell us how. Oh, we are the Og menu team. My name is Michaela Adams, and these are my colleagues, Lindsay Maher, Maduanti Jado, and Dara Naik. Together, we created a mobile app that allows users to preview food from a menu before purchasing. In addition, a user can browse other items that are even not in English or uh, even written in non-Latin alphabets. Uh, AugMenu does this by taking a picture of the item, text, uh, sending it to an image to text recognition uh, at Google, and then we get back the string of text. Once we get the text uh, and we pull up the model, the user is able to rotate the model, uh, view it from all angles, and even tap on the model uh, for nutritional information. Uh, now, Madhu is going to walk us through a typical user experience. Thanks, Michaela. So as you can see, when you, cl when you click on the instructions button, it will provide you with the guidelines. Clicking on the scan menu will take you to the camera screen. When you focus on the menu item and capture its image, it will render a 3D model of the food item you have selected on your camera screen. You, when you tap on the model, it will show up its ingredients. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the food would exactly look like from all the different angles. If you scan any irrelevant text, it will just recognize and simply let you know that it's an invalid scan and please scan again. So these are the main features of AugMenu. Now I would like to hand over to Dara who will walk us through the technologies we used and some challenges we faced to make our app come to life. Thank you. Thanks, Madhu. For building this application, choosing a right AR platform was very important. After some extensive research, Viro was our choice of interest due to its modularity and its seamless integration with React. This was our first experience working on AR platform. And so our development journey was full of technical challenges and learnings. One of that is camera component only works with React Native and our first primary challenge was to integrate React Native with Viro and not using Xcode or Android. After some research and taking help from Viro support team, we were able to achieve this using screen capture functionality of Viro and move forward. Our application also renders 3D food model and we created our own 3D food models. It was quite an experience to learn to how to create those 3D food models, give them some texture, material, some light, and give some different positions and rotations so they can look like a real. Another key feature of our application is image to text recognition. And now I would like to invite Lindsay to talk more on this. Thanks, Dara. I'd love to. So in order to read our menu and render our models, we decided to use the Google Cloud Vision API as well as AWS S3 Cloud Storage. This diagram is gonna walk us through what needs to happen in order for us to play with our food. So first, we use a feature of Viral React to take a screenshot of our menu. That image gets sent to AWS and stored with an image URL that we now have access to. That image gets sent to the Google Cloud Vision API and that returns to us a readable version of the menu text. We now go back to AWS and search for the food model that we need to render using that menu text. At this point, we should have gotten through all the steps that we need to for our user to be able to view the food on their screen. Because our application can dynamically render the food models using the URL, we decided to eliminate our initial call to the backend and actually get rid of the need to store anything locally on our machine. As you can see, our team had a really great time working on this together and learning several complicated technologies. If you'd like to learn more and see more of our code, please check out our GitHub. Thank you so much for watching. That was great. I think the biggest downside is it's a little too mouthwatering. It makes me hungry every time it's testing it. Yeah. The, um so, quick reminder, if you like to vote for Og Menu, like the post, like the pin comment. I just saw the Ready Player One movie, and the quote was, the best thing about, the, the only thing about reality is that you, the best thing about reality is that it's where you go to get a good meal. And that kind yeah, of is like the, yeah. 
like <laughs> a great meal and augmented reality there. That's incredible that it was because I have that problem. I have both that problem. I have that problem of where I'm going to look at a menu. I'm like, none of this stuff is resonating with me. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, in my, I don't know if I would, this behavior is kind of cool though. I'm like, then I just look at it and see it. That's really cool. And yeah. uh, but they were able to get there to the rendering. I think it's incredible. It was impressive how many new and like just, you know, under development technologies had to put, come together to actually make it work. So yeah. I was really happy to see it like in action. It's surprising yeah. how difficult things can be when you're developing on mobile. Yeah. Securities so. with like iOS. Yeah, definitely.